Assalamualaikum. Uh, in this video, we show you how to uh, we will show you how to analyze SRD uh, results using high score. So for high score, uh, for face identification. Okay, first of all, uh, you need to open the high score software. So here. Just double click. Okay, so it will come up like this one. And then after that, if you want to open the, uh, the file, so you just need to click file, open, and then you can choose your SRDML file, for example, like this one. So you just double click. So it will come up as this. Okay. So uh, first of all, uh, so the basic step is actually uh, just four to five steps. So you just need to, uh, the first step, you just need to right click. Okay. Uh, click determine background and then you can see the green line at the bottom part of the graph. So you can adjust this value. So in order to make sure that the line is actually touched at the bottom part of the graph, not like it cannot be like this one. Oh. And this one. So it need to be like this, okay? So then you just zoom out, make sure that you can see, make sure that everything is at the bottom part of the graph. So you just click background and set, okay? And the next step is uh, we need to determine the peak. So. You just for the second step, you just need to right click, search P, click search P, and then accept. So basically, uh, the software will determine the graph for you. So you can see that is a blue graph and also the red graph. So the red graph is actually the original data that you get from the SRD analysis, but the blue graph is actually uh, generated by the software based on the background that you've set it earlier and also uh, the search peak after the search peak exercise. Okay, so, so if you see that there is some peaks that is not being identified by the software, you can just always add in after. Okay, so basically you just need to right click, insert peak, so you just point it here. Okay. So if there is any peak that is missing, so you can, for example, like here. So you just click, right click, insert peak, right click, insert peak again to deactivate, then there is another peak here. Okay, so if everything is okay, then so you can see that from the graph, um, uh, the blue graph is actually not matched with the red graph. 
Okay, so in order for us to proceed with the search match and for face identification, we need to make sure that uh, the blue line, okay, the blue graph represents your data, represents your SRD, uh, SRD pattern that you've get from the analysis. So you need to, uh, to perform uh, peak fitting to make sure that the peak, the blue peak is actually identical with the red graph. Okay, so how can you do that? First, you just need to monitor, you just click uh, add refinement control, global variable. So you just make sure you set the method to use available background. And then for the asymmetry type is actually split width and shape. Okay, so, so later you just monitor the value of weighted up profile and also the goodness of fit. So how to do the fitting? Just right click, execute fitting, default profile fit. Okay, so you can see that the weighted up profile is 9.9 .9 already and goodness of fit is 1. So basically you can see so the graph has been identical compared to the previous one. So you can try to once again, the fitting. Okay, so if you see that the value is keep uh, decreased, then you can perform the uh, fitting again. If you see that the value is uh, increasing, then uh, you need to undo. For example, this one just now is six, uh, 9.6, I think. So after we do the fitting, then the value is uh, goes up to 9.8. So you can just do undo. Oh, uh, sorry, 9.83. So you can just do once again. So it's going down to 9.8.1. So we just do once again, 9.8, Then if you see that the graph already identical, then um, is either you can proceed with the fitting again or you can just proceed with the search match. As long as the value uh, of weighted up profile is okay, the value weighted up profile is below than 10 and goodness of it is below than 2, then it is acceptable. Okay. So, and then, uh, then only your graph is ready to perform a search match. That means we want to compare the pattern with our database. Okay, so how to do that? You just right click, choose a search match, click edit. Okay, so if you doesn't know what are the elements available in your sample, so you just can add rest to none of, uh, just clear, okay, and then you just close, and then you just search. Okay, so this is the, this is the results. The, the potential candidates of your uh, pattern. So the first one is Rutal. You can monitor it from here. So this is the selected pattern, which is Rutal, and this is your uh, sample. So for Rutal, it shows that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, more than 10 picks is actually matching with the root tile. Okay, then you can just scroll down at the bottom part. So you see whether it match with others as well. 
So if you feel that uh, the rotor is acceptable with your pattern, you can just drag it here. Okay, it will point out as uh, uh, rotor. Okay, uh, this big, this big one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, eleven peaks belongs to that. Okay, then you will have another one. Okay, because there is still a certain peak which does not match with the uh, rotor pattern. So you can just check with the anatis one. Okay, so one. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So just drag it at the bottom, at the upper part, so you can see that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the anatis peak here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this is the uh, second uh, crystal structure as is in your. Sample and then the third one is maybe zirconia. Okay, so you can see uh, the zirconia peaks is one, two, maybe uh, there is uh, small, small peaks available in here. Okay, so so basically uh, your sample consists of uh, rutile and anatis of the IO2 and also zirconia. Okay, so uh, so for this one, if you doesn't know what is your sample, is if you doesn't know what is the elements available in your sample, but if let's say you already know, okay, you can just undo this one. Okay, so if you already know what is the elements that are available in your sample based on SRF results. You can just always search match, edit, add rest to none of. Okay, for example, like you, your sample has titanium oxide. So you just click the IO. Okay, green, uh, green indicates both of them is available in your sample. So you just click close and search. Okay, so it will clean up as all the TIO pattern. So you just need to choose once again, okay, which one is uh, compatible with the sample. For example, for this one, I choose the first one. So it indicates that this is the rutile peak and the second one is magnetic TIO2. Okay, for another um, compound, so you just need to do search match again. So AD, and just click uh, zirconia with zirconia. Okay, zirconia outside, close and search. Okay, so this is the uh, zirconia peaks. So basically, you will have three peaks, uh, rutile, and a three phase of crystal structure. Uh, rutile and a anatis site and also the zirconia. Okay, so you can for this one, you can just double click. Okay, basically you will know the crystal system and the HKL value of the for each peak. For example, like this one, the I uh, the rutile uh, first peak at 27.349 to theta, so which is this one. So this is the value, this, this is the HKL value, 110, and the two theta one, and also the uh, this spacing. Okay, so you, get, you can save this as uh, RTF format and also PDF. So Later, you transfer to your folder. So basically, you can just always uh, refer to, to the details. Lah. Okay. And then uh, to save, just need to click report, create what a uh, word report, and also click default. Okay. So basically, you will get all the 
pick. Okay, and you get the graph. And so you will get all the big lists in terms of the position and also the height and also the FWHN. Okay, so this so you can save the uh, word file. Or if you want to save it in Excel, so for Excel, you just need to do it manually. So we just need to okay, take, uh, open up Excel. So you just need to take here, Control A, Control C. So just place it here. Okay. And then so usually we will copy the big list data as well. Okay. Right. So this is the value of the big list. Okay. So right. So if you want to So, okay. so that's all for search match. Um, and then after that, if you want to know the, uh, if you want to calculate the, uh, the crystallite size based on Schroeder calculator. Okay, I think. I think that's all okay, for the face identification. Um, good luck. If anything, you can always uh, refer uh, personnel, car personnel at car. Thank you.